Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today thanks to Louise from the UK. Hi Louise! That was creepy, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a taste test from Bulgaria. Louise recently went on a beautiful holiday to Bulgaria and went to a beautiful resort. This is a map of where she went. She also sent me a little brochure of all the activities that are there and I'm just really, really jealous right now. It looks, oh hello, sexy Bulgarian women. Uh -huh. Oh, wow! Sorry, it looks, oh, there's someone with a gun there. <laughs> I'm serious, there is someone with a gun there. You can go sailing, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can run around and a bike and get dirt all over you. So there's wine tasting and shopping and lots of good food. Looks like my kind of holiday. She's also sent me this beautiful postcard. So thank you so much, Louise. Some Bulgarian words, fantastic, let's try it. Yes, da, dobre, good, keks. No, didn't say that right. How are you? <laughs> Ni, no, I think I can handle no. Blagadoria, let me know in the comments below if you're a Bulgarian and you knew what I just said. Now because Louise has been so generous and sent me such a massive great big box of treats, I'm gonna put this into a couple of taste tests. These are the things I've selected to try today. Let's get started. So I'm starting off with this one. It looks like it's some sort of a watermelon candy. There's no way I can read that, sorry. Ooh. Okay, so they're individually wrapped little candies. They're very small. They're so tiny. Right, oh, 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 it's a little, oh. Looks like a little Mentos. I was expecting it to be square. It's square on the cover. Wait a minute. I mean, they don't have square watermelons in Bulgaria, do they? So it's a pink candy and it looks like a Mentos. Oh, that's tasty. Oh! Mm. Wait, 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 wait. I think this is gum. It is gum! So on the outside, it's got like a hard candy coating, and then on the inside, it's gum. I nearly swallowed that. Whoa. Yeah, it's really tasty. I like that. So these ones were a pleasant surprise. They're lovely and tasty and refreshing, and they do taste like watermelon. Seven Days Double Max. I've tried a Seven Days product before in a Greek taste test because they get these in Greece. That does look delicious from the cover of it. This looks like a croissant filled, a croissant, a croissant filled with cherry and cream. Oh, oh hello, you smell great. Oh, okay, yep, yep. I'm gonna rip this in half so I can show you the middle of it. Uh, oh, can't really see much. Oh yeah, the flavor of the stuff inside is quite tasty. It's got a lovely cherry-like jam in there. And there's also got this other stuff which I thought was gonna be cream, but it tastes more like a custard sort of a filling. Mm. Really love the filling, not so keen on the stuff on the outside. It's kind of like a croissant that you should have had a couple of days ago. But you know, the flavor of it is really nice. Vana Max Cocoa Wafer. Oh, hello. Whoa! Oh wow, that looks great! Yum! Mmm! For some reason I had to give it a little round of applause with my wrist. <laughs> When I go to a live show, I clap, but usually I'm eating at the same time, so I kind of go like this, and I'm actually not making any noise at all. <laughs> anyway, this is absolutely delicious. Beautiful, crispy wafers, chocolate on the outside, a lovely chocolate filling in the middle of it. And look at the size of it. It's pretty gigantic, isn't it? It actually says max. Maybe this is a super duper size of one. Are there smaller ones? I don't know. But either way, if you see one of these, get it. It's delicious. Give it another round of applause. Chio Extra Chips. Oh, oh yes. Oh, these are cheeseburger flavor. So they're made with sunflower oil and potatoes. That's why they've got a whopping great basket of potatoes there. So on the cover, it looks like they're gonna be crinkly chips. Have a look. Mm, yeah, they smell all right. Oh. They're 
beautiful and salty. I don't know if it particularly tastes like a cheeseburger though. Mmm, they're tasty though. They do have an aftertaste of cheeseburger in them. So they're beautiful and crispy. They have an aftertaste of cheeseburger in them. And they're really salty. Love them. Smile come good cook? What? <laughs> What am I saying? Smile Gummy Softies. And these are made by Nim2, which I thought was a German company, but obviously these are popular in Bulgaria. You can see on the package there, that is not German writing. Ooh, oh wow. I'm just gonna put them all in my hand so you can have a good look at them. So you actually get seven different flavors in this little packet. And as you can see, they're sort of a little bit translucent. So, hey, wait, they said they got something in the middle of it. That doesn't look like it's got anything inside. But this one does. You can see that it's got a different color inside it. So let's try this little orange slice one. Oh. Mmm, yum! They're super sweet and soft and they've got so much flavour in them. That's one that's got a really strong orange flavour through it. Delicious! I'm just going to try this pear one. Wow! Really yummy! So if you're into your jelly gummy lollies, you would love these ones. As you can see, they come in lots of different flavors and the flavor in them is actually really strong. I can't stop eating them. Mmm! Oh, that lemon one's good. They are amazing. I'm just gonna try this leaf one because I'm curious as to what flavor that is. Mmm! Oh, that's lime. Mmm. You bite into it and there's this little hidden liquid filling inside it. But it's kind of like liquid jelly-like filling in it. And it's delicious. I absolutely love these ones. Let me know if you get these in the country where you live. Next up, I've got this. I don't know if that's food or not. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's food. That looks like something I can take out and have a play with. The packaging is nice and bright. And as you can see, it's got little faces on the back of it. And it seems to be like little people in there. Little tiny people that I'm gonna eat. So I'm just gonna open up the box and show you, oh, how many people am I gonna eat? Four of them. Time goes cannibal, watch out. A taste test like no other. Oh, wow, yeah, look, this is, this is freaking me out. This is a lot of little family of people I'm about to eat. Um, wait, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 it's all right. It's actually printed on the plastics outside of these. Okay, so there's two of the same of these. I'm gonna eat him. Oh, sounds wrong. Okay. <laughs> You've been selected by the giant. Hey, let's open this up. And oh goodness, his head separates. It's like a little round white ball. And then his body is like a little baton. How bizarre, it's like a little biscuit. It's kind of like an uneventful vanilla biscuit. This is to put us off being cannibals. Let's just try this little round white ball. Oh, it's kind of like a biscuit like filling in the middle of it. On the outside, it's like a candy coating and also a coating of chocolate. That's what people's heads are made of. Well, some people's definitely are, aren't they? They look really cute, but they just don't taste that eventful. Well, thank you so much for watching, everyone. And thank you so much, Louise, for sending me all of these amazing Bulgarian treats and the letter and the postcard and everything. I really appreciate it. And if everyone in the comments below could also thank Louise, because without her, this taste test would not be possible. And the good news is there's more stuff to come from Bulgaria, so tune in for those taste tests. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh. Eating people and destroying boxes. Is this food?